Hello. How's everybody? Come on in. Come on in. Happy Thursday. Happy, happy Thursday. Y'all say hi. Let me know when you're here. Want to say hi back. Let me see if I can get us pulled up here. In the world is this thing doing? Oh. Ah. Wrong place. Okay. Hey Venus. Hey Leanne. Hey Carol. How are you all doing? Let's see. Let me pull up the correct. Come on, computer. Oh, this thing is crazy, y'all. Okay. So, full screen. There we go. Now I did it. Oh. Me and technology, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. Trying to get the volume off here. We'll see. Okay, there we go. Let's see who I missed. Okay, Miss Carol. Hey, Dana. Hey, Angela. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Jody. Hey, Tracy. How is everybody doing? Hey, Becky Jones. I hope y'all are having a fabulous Thursday. I've had a great day. I can't wait to tell y'all all about it. Hey, Janice. Um, so, some of y'all probably don't know, but this Sunday, I'm having a really big birthday. I'll be 40 this Saturday, this Sunday, this Sunday. So, to tell y'all what the wonderful Lyle did for me today and my precious kiddos, First of all, if y'all will share this live, let everybody know that I'm on since it's late. Some people probably gave up on me and thought I wasn't coming on, um, but I'm going to tell y'all all about what all we've been doing. Hey, Bonnie. Um, so, I'm still a baby. <laughs> oh, I like your baby. Oh, thank you, Janice. Thank you, Venus. I appreciate it very much. So, I thought tonight, while I'm talking to y'all about my day... We're going to paint this super cute birthday wreath sign. Um, hey, Carol. How are you? So, I thought that would be appropriate to let the cat join us, of course. And let's paint this sign. And I'm going to tell you all about my night. Because it was fabulous. Watch her. She was not so lucky. Maybe there's nowhere to rest her. Okay. Uh, why are you talking about that? Hey. You? Because she's not taking swim and Mara said you do not swim good, so you got to help. Well, she could get him out of the pool. Okay. Let's see. Thank you so much. Okay. So, uh, Lyle, are you going to come read for me? Miss Carol said hi, Lyle. Okay, let me pull up my picture here. Okay, so let me get started, um, and then I'll I'll talk and paint together at the same time. Hey, Mary, how are you? Hey, Trina. Thank you, Becky. Oh, Miss Janice said, hey, Lyle and Jody. Lyle's been not with us a lot lately, has he? He's wore out, y'all. He's wore out. I'm burning up. I am, too. I'm always hot, though. That's nothing new. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just start painting my white part while I while we talk, um, and you know I always tell you, 
Anything that's yellow or orange, I'm going to paint it white first. So, um, so anyways, today I was at work. Today was my kid's last day of school. Um, and Miller wanted his dad to go with him to his party and not his mom because he said, I got to go at Christmas and his dad didn't. They'll only let one parent go or one person go to the parties. So no siblings, only one adult. So Lyle went with Miller and then um, when he got home, I went to work and then um, Maddox had to stay until 1045 because he's in sixth grade. So Miller got to leave right after his party. But So he went and picked Miller, Maddox up. And I had, at the time, I had three flower orders to do today. And he came by. He went and delivered some cookies that my mom made. And um, I had got my flowers. And I was getting those done, so he came back and helped me deliver those. And one of those was an order that I got last week from a girl that works with my sister-in-law. They, uh, She owns a med spa in our town. And she said for me to just deliver the flowers to the med spa, which is right across the street from my shop, and that her boyfriend would come pick them up. So I delivered all those. Um, and then when it got a little bit closer to time for me to get off work, my mom had texted me and asked if the kids were with me, if they could come back and eat watermelon at her house. Then not long after that, she texted me and asked if she could take them to the park, if we had plans tonight. And I told her no, I didn't have plans, I just had to do my live, but other than that, I would be home. Um, so we're painting a, um, birthday cake sign. Let me point you down a little bit more. Okay, now. So, she texted me that, and that's not really a normal thing for her to do, so, you know, I didn't really think anything about it. Well, then Lyle called me and said, what would you think about going to eat supper with... Me and you just go eat supper. I said, okay, well, sure. I said, what about the kids? And he said, well, your mom's gonna, I talked to your mom, she's gonna watch them. So my, my thoughts immediately went to, I think they planned something. Cause you know, this is a big birthday. It's a big milestone. So he told me to come home because I told him, I said, if, I, if there's going to be a surprise, I need to come home and get ready because I did not look real cute in my clothes today and I was not feeling very cute. So I came home and changed clothes because I just didn't want to take a chance on it, not, you know, looking, feeling comfortable with the way I look. So change clothes and we got ready to leave and I said where are we going to eat and he said well you can pick I said okay he said we may go to Mallory's which is the restaurant in my hometown here and I said no I don't want to go there I want to go somewhere else he said okay we'll just get in the car well when we got in the car we drove down the road and instead he turned into the church where we go to church so I knew something was up then and um, of course I saw some cars and we went in and all my family was there and when I walked in they all said surprise and my kids had these popping uh, party, poppers. party poppers confetti things that shot confetti out and Lyle had decorated the whole place he had balloons on all the tables and little um, decorations that said happy birthday and 40 and things hung on the wall and little things to take pictures with. They had gotten me the most beautiful cake, which I will post pictures on so y'all can see it because y'all got to see this cake. It is amazing. 
This lady that's local, she does very good cake. She's very talented. And this cake had, it was two tiers, and it had like a silhouette of our family on the top. So it was a husband and wife and three kids, two boys and girls. And then on the side it had um, like a nurse kind of silhouette, like it was like a lab coat and a stethoscope. And then it had a painting and paint, um, tubes of paint and a paintbrush. And then on the other side it had a vase of flowers. It was the most beautiful cake. It was so, so, so pretty. So I'll have to post pictures of that so y'all can see. Um, and we took some family pictures. Thank you. Okay, so another thing, well, they had, my brother is an amazing cook, my mother is an amazing cook, one of our good friends is an amazing griller and cook, and they had all worked to make this amazing meal. We had grilled chicken, we had barbecue, we had um, twice baked potatoes, salad, um, Brussels sprouts, which are my favorite, um, we had slaw, macaroni and cheese, um, baked beans, baked beans, zucchini and squash, fruit. My mom had made cookies and cobbler, and then we had the cake and ice cream. It was so good, was so good. So that feast was laid out, you know, when I got there, and lo and behold. I looked on the table with the food, and in the middle of that table was the beautiful flowers that I had made that day to deliver to the med spa. <laughs> they had planned the whole thing, gotten Megan's um, co-worker to call and order the flowers to be delivered. Did she pay for them? They got paid for Okay, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure she paid me over the phone that day. Yeah, they got paid Okay, good. I just thought of that. <laughs> but they had, you know, come up with this plan to get me to do the flowers, and I didn't know what they were for. The, the girl had told me just put a blank congratulations card on there and that she would fill it out. She would be working in, in a different town, but her boyfriend was going to come pick them up and get them to her, and they would, you know, deliver them themselves. So those were the flowers that were there. So, of course, I thought they were pretty. And they, some people had brought me gifts, which they absolutely didn't have to do, but I still get to open those when I get off here. It was just, it was wonderful. Um, I got pain on my nose, don't I? Um, I had, of course, my kids were so excited. They had kept this secret from me. And I was proud of them for that, too, because that's a hard thing to do. Um, and then, hold on, let me paint. Oh, my, Maddox, my oldest son, he said the prayer before the meal, and he got choked up. It was the sweetest thing. I told him that's the best birthday present he could ever have gave me, was saying the prayer. So, you know, that made my mama heart happy. Um, hold on, I'm fishing for paint down here, y'all. Where's the pink paint? friends from home, my best friend from high school was there, and her little girl, and uh, two of my good friends that um, our kids are the same age, they played ball together all these years, Tell they were there, Sunday. my birthday is Sunday, yeah, um, and then um, three of my friends from work at the clinic were there, so it's just, you don't realize, you know, 
how much people care and love you until they do something like that and go out of their way to make it a special night. And there's lots of other things they could have done, but they came and helped me celebrate and it just really, really made, made it special. So it was wonderful. It was wonderful. So that's where I have been tonight. And I know that Lyle and my mom and sister-in-law and brother are tired because they, my brother said he got up at 10 to 4 this morning to put the meat on, on the pellet grill. So, it's surely appreciated. It was wonderful. Okay, let's see what all I miss. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> yeah, I'm sweating. Wow, did do good. Very proud of him. So. I hope y'all had a great Thursday. Hey, Ty. How are you? Of course, you know Sunday on my real birthday, I'll be at the ballpark. And we'll be at a different one. Yeah, and Lyle and Maddox will be at a different one than me and Miller and Maley, so. So he thought ahead. Ah, spill the beans. Which milestone will it be? 40. 40. The big 4 0. Thankful to be here. Big 4 0. I thought this sign would be really cute on a wreath that you can hang up. Um, you know, any, thank you, Ty. Anytime there's a birthday in your family or, you know, if you're decorating for something to have and just pull it out for the celebration and, like, you know, for me, the whole month. You celebrate the whole month of your birthday, right? So you could just put this on your door the whole month. So. I have had a fabulous day. And you know, I'm on a diet, but me and my mom are both on that same diet, so we had to uh, break our diet tonight. But I still did good. I did not overeat at all. And if y'all were on the live last night, you heard me say, I'm not a sweet eater. I don't like, I'm not a birthday cake eater and all that, so. Oh, Ty, we're the same age. Still right? a lot of growing. I hope I don't have a lot of growing to do because the only growing I'm going to do is out. What did you say, Lyle? I said you're a lot older than me. Ooh. Yeah, we're older than Lyle, Ty. I married a young one. Let's try to train him up. Let's try him. Hmm. <sighs> and also, I was going to 
tell y'all too, um, I don't know if any of y'all, or I know Tracy is, not who, sure who all else is familiar with. Um, Kelly and Brian Holtgrave from uh, Events and Essentials. Hey, Tini. Um, they are some uh, friends of ours and they live close to Scott Waterman, kind of up there in the Illinois, ooh, I can't remember what the, it's, I can't remember what the town they live in's name is. But anyway, um, earlier tonight their house was hit by a tornado and um, they are all okay. We have a, in our group message, um, so if you know them, um, I'm sure they would appreciate all the prayers that you can send their way and of course we told them, you know, if there was anything we could do, it did mess their house up quite a bit. Breeze? Breeze, yep. That's it. Um, and Abby is their daughter who's on, that works with them and does a lot of lives with them. Her, she said her sister was the only one at home. Her sister is fine. Nobody was hurt. But they did get a lot of damage. So just keep them in your prayers. It's very scary. Jerry said you're a cradle robber. Cradle robber? Yeah, because I'm a lot younger than you are. He's not that much younger than me. I'm a lot younger. Yes, Tracy, it is scary. Look, we had a tornado come through here. When was that? A couple months ago? Yeah, we just had roof damage. And we just had roof damage, but mainly it's like traumatized. Every time it gets cloudy outside, she says, is it going to be a tornado? She lost her outdoor playhouse. Yeah, her little playhouse got blown away, you know, and so she's nervous about storms now. So. <laughs> I thought about green, but I'm backing out on that. Yes. Yes. Events and Essentials is their page, so y'all just keep them in your thoughts and prayers. What color do I want to use with this? Hmm. Yes, they, if y'all don't know them, they are the sweetest people. Um, we met them through Learn Focus Win, and um, they are just so, so sweet. Mm. I'm not going to like that either. Yes. Yeah, how far is, I think it's like 30 minutes from um, where Scott is. I could be wrong about that, but I know it's close because they drove every night to learn focus when or every day. So I know it's not far, but now direction wise, I don't know the answer to that one. I don't like that either. I'm gonna find one I like in a minute, y'all. I really think I don't like this color, but you know, that's okay.
Just about 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I don't know, you know, like if they had a lot of neighbor damage, you know, or if anybody did get hurt or anything. We just got the message that Brian and Kelly and Abby and them were okay. So. Thankful for that, for sure. Southeast of Troy. Okay. I'm not good with direction, direction, map direction, so wasn't sure exactly where they were. Is that the opposite way of you, um, Becky? It's not towards St. Louis, is it? You know Becky Jones that's on here? I mean, I see her yeah, I mean, I know you haven't met her in person. She lives in St. Louis. She gave me tickets. <laughs> I don't know. Becky, do you ever go to Cardinals games? You know we're big Cardinals fans. My bucket list is sit on the front row behind my plane. I don't think she's a Cardinal fan. But she ain't got to be to give her tickets. Well, I mean... I don't think she would have season tickets to the Cardinals if she wasn't a Cardinals fan. We'll, we'll be best friends. I said I don't think. I know, but we can be best friends. She don't want no mooching best friend. Away, wasn't it? That's the last time we went, I guess. Thank you. Hey, Stoney. Stoney, I was waiting for my helicopter tonight. tonight and they were going to come in on a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, Becky, see if we can get the hook up. I do need to bring my boys because, you know, we're all big Cardinals fans, but they're huge baseball fans. Heather said so. you're left-handed too. She's not. No, I'm not left-handed. It's just not flipped. I'm left-handed. Here, I can flip it so it looks normal. That always throws me off. No, I'm right-handed. Well, I was left-handed. Yeah, he is. I want to do green. Lyle is left handed. My sister in law is left handed. My granddaddy was left handed. My uncle left handed. I have a cousin that's left handed. I really thought one of my kids or my brother and sister in law's kids would be, but all, out of all six of them, none of them are left handed. Ocean's Eleven. And he watches the same movies over and over and over and over. Was a high school basketball coach. Yeah, must have done very well for yourself. I think 
every other night this movie's on TV. Either that or London is falling. Oh. Brad's a lefty. I never showed up to pick you up. Oh, stoning. That's crazy. Can't believe they left you. It's hungry. I don't do Hallmark movies though. Ooh, I love Hallmark movies. Now, don't say you don't because when I have them on, I see you stopping and watching. Listen, I'm a huge movie guy. I, I watch about anything. I don't turn it to Hallmark. I'm saying when I have them playing and you walk through, you stop and watch it because you get into them. Yeah, but I don't turn it to them. Okay. But I have seen guns. I have never seen them smoke. Yeah, I've seen a lot of stuff. Yes, he watches London is Fallen like uh, three times a week, I think. Uh, I ain't seen that one in Drives me batty. What is Maddox doing? Is he in there by himself? He's singing in the shower. Maddox is singing in the shower, okay. I do have to deliver a gift in the morning from the shop, and then I have to go have a big meeting at the clinic um, with the CEO of the hospital, and so we'll see how that goes. Tracy said her never, TV never comes on. Never? Tracy Myers? Yeah. Except when it's basketball season. Hey, I watch all sports. She likes college basketball. All sports. Golf, basketball. I don't think our TV ever turns off. Because if Lyle's here, the TV's on. Oh, y'all, I went to the allergy doctor yesterday. Did I tell y'all that? Last night? Are you it? On the lab. And I'm allergic to cats. What? Allergic to cats and dogs. And I have three cats and a hundred pound dog. What did you say? Oh, So that's always good. I got three Uncle Sam heads made today. Finished up. I need to list them on my Etsy shop. They're so cute. They're uh, Uncle, Sa Uncle Sam head wreath attachments. So, I'm going to try to get those listed soon. I'll take pictures tomorrow. Yes, I am going to have to do shots. He told me, he said, um, I'm allergic to dust mites. Which he said, if you lived in the most spotless house ever, you would still have dust mites. 
Um, and I definitely do not live in the most spotless house um, ever. But, um, you know, he said the best thing you could do is get rid of your animals, but I know that that's not, you know, always feasible. And he said, I shouldn't sleep with a ceiling fan, so that's not going to happen because Lyle's not going to sleep with a ceiling fan. Um, if you could get rid of carpet in the bedrooms, that that would be best, which we don't have carpet in our bedrooms, but we do have it in the kids' rooms. And really, their carpet needs to be replaced sometime anyway, so hopefully if we decide to replace it, we could just put down a lamb and not do carpet again. Um, so that, and then tequila shot. It's like a yuck. <laughs> I'll be throwing up. Um, and then he gave me two different nose sprays to use. And I gotta do like a sinus rinse at night before the night spray. He said that's really gonna help me a lot because a lot of my allergies affect my eyes. So he said that's gonna help it a ton. Get rid of them will help you a lot. Who? Them cats. We'll get rid of you. I told the, the nurse that was doing my testing, I said my husband said he really wants me to be allergic to cats, but I told him I really wanna be allergic to him. So I could get rid of him. So she rid just started dying laughing. You get rid of me, she you still said, got the allergy to cats. So. She said, that is so funny. Yeah, but I wouldn't have to hear you gripe about the cats. Anyways, so I called Lyle after the testing and I said, oh, guess what? They did all the testing and I'm allergic to men. You've got to go. <laughs> You did. I did just buy a vacuum cleaner, I know. And I have been using the fire out of that thing. You thought a vacuum cleaner made it gold? Uh, no, no comments from the peanut gallery over there. That vacuum cleaner is worth every dime. It's just a humidifier. No, it's not. I vacuumed this whole house with it. I dusted this whole house with that vacuum cleaner. That vacuum cleaner, you're, um, you, when you change your sheets, you vacuum the mattress and it helps get rid of dead skin cells and dust mites. It also has a mop attachment. I can mop the floor. And it works as a humidifier when you're not using it as a vacuum. Stan so, said it stirred up the allergies. Mm -mm. It's better now. It's been better. It was worse before. No, Tracy, I, I, that's one thing. I, you know, when we built the house, I thought, well, in the kids' rooms, they'll be softer. They'll be in the floor playing. But now, I look back and I think, well, we could have just put the laminate everywhere, but we didn't know. So. Someday we'll get that changed out. But first I gotta get air in my car before I do any other changes. Because, y'all, if I don't get air in my car, I think I'm going to melt. I am hot natured anyways. I don't know. I need to ask Michelle if she has experienced this on her diet. But ever since I started the diet, like, I get hot easy anyway. But I can just barely do anything. And I'm just sweating. I don't know what it is. If my, it's like detoxing or what it is. Okay. 
feel like I'm menopausal. So I, I can only imagine. this with the heat gun and then I'll be putting the finishing touches on it. template so I could tell y'all but I can't find it so I'm sorry um, if anybody was interested in the template but I will. who no I did not Stoney I don't like cake but I had a beautiful cake and everybody enjoyed it they said it was good but I don't I don't eat cake that's not a temptation for me Now, I would have gone back and ate another helping of food, but I didn't. So I'm just going to outline. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like, um, well, like they made a cobbler. I like cobbler. And I like, like, Klontai. Um, I like strawberry pie. It's my, probably my favorite pie. When I was growing up, when I was young, for my birthdays, I would always ask my mom for strawberry pie instead of cake. Because like I told y'all, I'm just not a big fan of sweet, real sweet things. Things that are real rich, you know. I'm just not a big fan of that, so. But I do like strawberry pie. got me this cool um, little poster thing made that he ordered and it said something about back in 1982 and it had a picture of me and my kids and then it it had like all kinds of things that happened back in 1982 on your birthday on my birthday in 1982 and I was born the same day as um Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, Kelly Clarkson, Nicki Minaj, who else, Lyle? Yeah, well, um, Anne Hathaway. Oh, yeah. There were some more. There were some I didn't know. And gas was 91 cents. Gas was 91 cents a gallon. A postage stamp was 20 cents. A loaf of bread was a dollar. Can you name this name? Okay. A dozen eggs was a dollar. Bread was. Um, a new house was eighty-two thousand. Yeah, a brand new house was eighty-two thousand dollars. Minimum wage was three thirty-five an hour. Stoney said in nineteen eighty-two he was in college. <laughs> or she. Stoney. It's Stoney Stone. Which one? There's Michelle. Yeah, Michelle. Michelle's different. I Katie was 12 in 1982. Katie was. I didn't know Katie was on here. Katie, Well, you didn't tell me. You've been reading all the comments. Huh? Did you been reading all the comments? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Slacking. almost have the same birthday. Next year we should plan a big birthday trip.
All right, so let's ride on here. Let's ride. Happy birthday. On here. How much is everybody short? That's right, you know, Tyler. I gotta say, I just can't do it. At my age, I think I have the right to be selfish. I want to thank you all for the wonderful opportunity. You know, all aces in my book. Meg, you still look 22. I just realized that was you that said that. I hope I look like you when I'm 62. You're beautiful. this movie. So we go abroad. How about we go to five o'clock? So you need to be reading my comments. Where are we going? They're talking to Santa. Amsterdam it is. Block's running, guys. I've never been to Amsterdam. I've never been to Amsterdam. I've never been to Amsterdam. Well, I'll miss your comment. Y'all call him out. I'm Will. Is Tom on here? No, but he'll call you out. I know. It's not the easiest thing to use. Um, but it's just adds some dimension to your paint painting. So I like to add it sometimes. You also cannot stack a sign once you've used this slick paint until you seal it because it will pull it right off. What's he doing falling asleep? Miller, what did I tell you about that? I tell him that. What? Okay, so I see that it just adds a little bit of dimension. And I'm going to do a little bit of wool black. Then we'll be done. I bought these little bitty bottles off of Amazon. It's got the needle point to them. And I love it. Meg's sister and daughters were born in 83 and 85. I was born in 85. Mm -hmm. Meg. Um, my mom is 62. And my mom's like you. She looks younger. Way younger. I'm afraid I didn't get those good genes, but maybe I got a little bit. 
And then we'll know who makes that slick print. Two looks. You get it at Walmart in the, um, it's on the, uh, by the tie-dye. Like party size. It's no, it's like on the, I think it's on the same aisle as the paint in the crafting, but it's down by the tie-dye stuff. It's really fabric paint, three-dimensional fabric paint. Um, but the slick is the brand, is the, the one that I get. It works best. So... Just adds a little bit of something, you know, fun. Okay. So, there you go. There's our birthday cake. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I wish I got my mom's cooking jeans, and I'm afraid I didn't. <laughs> I can cook some things, but not like her. Thanks so much, y'all. Thank y'all for staying up late with me. I appreciate it. Thanks, Katie. Thanks. Good night, Carol. Sleep well. Thanks, Tracy and Meg. Judy. Thank y'all so much. And I'll make sure I post pictures from my party on the page so y'all can see my awesome cake and my family and yes they're gonna like and share and they do all that for me y'all i have totally gone blank so let me look up something real quick well let me look up something real quick Oh, I know. If y'all missed, um, you missed our live last night, first go back and watch it. It's probably quite funny, but we did a Zoom call and announced that Iveth, or Iveth, right, is going to be at our event in September at General Wholesale. We are so excited. She is amazingly talented, and I cannot wait to learn from her personally. So go grab your ticket if you have it. We don't have very many left. So don't wait till too late. And I'm still trying to find this. Cause, okay. I couldn't remember her um, business page. Katrina Kennedy is on tomorrow night at 7 on our page for our spotlight designer. Curly Q Reese is her page. I could not remember that. So I wanted to make sure I got that right before I said it incorrectly. So y'all come watch Katrina tomorrow night. Y'all have a great night. And I will see y'all very soon. Love you all. Good night.